Hello Church family, hope you're all doing well. I wanted to send out this video because believe it or not, our annual business meeting is coming up in September. It's already coming around again. So mark your calendars for Tuesday, September 24th at 6.30 p.m. And that's a Tuesday, not a Wednesday. It's on an off night this year, so hopefully more people can attend. As a reminder, everyone is welcome and even encouraged to attend. Only members can vote, and we're really hoping that every single member will come this year because we've got four kind of big things we need to talk about. The first one is me. Our bylaws call for after a three-year initial period that a vote of confidence or a vote of confirmation be given to a senior pastor. So this business meeting is where you all get to decide if Susan and I stay on as the pastors of Monterey Bay Christian Center. Obviously, we want to stay. We love being here, and we're hoping you feel the same way. But regardless, the will of the congregation prevails, so we need every member to come that night and cast your vote on that issue. The second thing we need to talk about is a proposed constitution and bylaw change regarding the size of our board. In consultation with our district officers, the Assemblies of God, our church board is unanimously recommending that we change the size of our board from seven people to five people. Now, I, as the pastor or whoever the pastor is, sits as chairman of that board. And then currently there are six elected people from the congregation. But honestly, in a church our size, it's often hard to find that many people that are willing and able to serve. And so the more normal number for a church our size would be four. So we have two deacons that are coming off this year automatically because their terms are expiring. So we wouldn't have any new elections this year. We would just change the bylaws to change that number from six elected deacons to four. And then in the years coming, we would have normal deacon elections. Now, the other change that has to happen is normally our deacons serve for three years. They can be elected for a subsequent three-year term for a total of six years, and then they have to come off for at least a year. Because the number is changing to four, we're proposing that the terms would change from three years to two years, still a six-year maximum. So they would be elected up to three times for two-year periods for a total of six years serving. So we need every member to come because constitution and bylaw changes require a vote of the congregation. The third thing we need to talk about is our annual financials. We need to give you a good report that God was good to us this year. And we need to report that for the very first time in a long time, our school actually brought more money in than it spent. Now, that's good news, but the problem is we're carrying some debt and some negative balances from years past. And quite honestly, it would take a very long time for the school to crawl out of that hole. So we're proposing moving some money, making some changes that would bring the school back to zero and give it a fighting chance for the future. But again, we wanted to give that report to the congregation and have you vote to accept the financials as presented. Now, the fourth and final thing, and this is a big one, is the church has owned a piece of property to the east of our church, 1200 Hilby, for about 20 years. It was bought with the intention of developing. Uh, Quite honestly, that never happened. And at some point in our church's past, we were actually debt free. But some decisions were made. We went back into debt as a church. And right now for a church our size, we're carrying almost a million dollars in debt. And quite frankly, that's far too much for us to be good stewards of what God's giving us. So a few congregational members had approached me over the last couple of years and said, Hey, pastor, why don't we sell that property and pay off most of our debt? Well, recently we completed an appraisal on that property and the current appraisal is $875,000. Now, as you know, you only get for property what you actually get for the property. So that appraisal may or may not mean a whole lot, but at least gives us a starting place to begin the journey. And so what our board is recommending is that we sell that piece of property and pay off almost all of our debt. We do have some deferred maintenance items to talk about, a parking lot and some weeks we need to take care of, but putting almost all of that money down on the debt, re-amortizing our loan down so that our monthly payment gets smaller, because quite honestly, we're facing a rate increase in September. It's gonna increase our monthly loan amount and increase our budget to a place that I'm not comfortable. So we've gotta take some action here. But to sell property requires the approval of the congregation. Now you'll have plenty of time to ask questions, plenty of time to talk about it. We'll share in detail what's going on, but we need to make that decision to authorize the board to sell the property that night at our business meeting. So those are the four things, and I hope that you'll join us at our business meeting. If you have any questions between now and then, be sure to let us know. If you receive this by email, then attached to it are the proposed constitution and bylaw changes. If you're seeing this some other way, then you can just jump on our website and see those as well. Closer to time, we'll present the financials to you ahead of time so you can review those and be prepared with any questions when you come that night.
Okay, again, we hope everyone can come, but members especially encouraged to attend so we can vote on those four issues. God bless you guys. See you soon.